What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel for another awesome reaction. She's Smitty. He's Birdie. And after our spooky month, we are here. We are back. We never imagined we'd take a month off from this. But the anticipation comes down building throughout the month. We are back with Stranger Things, going right into Stranger Things 4. And let me tell you, it has us feeling some type of way that we're back and we're ready to watch this. Uh, not much to dive into, just the, the end of the last season, we remember Billy's speech to L whenever he was still being influenced by the Mind Flayer, um, that potentially plays a part into this season, saying that it was all built for her, we'll see what happens. Just FYI, we did not watch any trailers for this, we like to go, go in blind. Yeah, so everything you see is going to be us not knowing anything. Yeah. So we're excited about that as well. It builds up the anticipation on it. We're just excited to be back and doing this again, uh, going back into Stranger Things. And let me tell you what, whenever that intro hits, it's going to hit us like a dump truck full of dopamine. We are freaking ready. It's going to be great. All right, y'all. Well, if you like what you saw today, go and drop a like. Leave a comment what you think about the episode. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And let's get this show on the road. Interesting opening. Dang. Man, this guy got laser accuracy. I've been doing a little bit of reading into like Dungeons and Dragons villains. And there's one... Why a timer? To challenge themselves. Oh. Well, there's one particular villain that I want to see in this season. After reading up on a lot of them, I want to see Vecna. He's a wizard. A very powerful and dark wizard. One Success. Of, he's labeled as one of the best villains in Dungeon and, Dungeons and Dragons history. So... That's who I want to see. I'm sorry, what? Excuse you? Hey, if you were any good at uh, crossword puzzles, you would have done it in a pen. You freaking chode. Wow. Is this, is this for real life? Oh, no, it's a flashback. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, is this uh, for real life? I was about to say, where the heck did you come from? You died. So is this like his perspective of the whole thing? It's possible. I mean, starting his day out, it's it's fascinating to see. That's cute, actually. Are they con they're controlling it with their mm -hmm. minds? I assume yeah. that's pretty cool. I mean, there is a lot of different variations of her with the same powers. How are you feeling today? Okay. Well, I didn't expect your voice to be that deep. Ten. Ten. Hmm. The one before eleven. Afternoon, Dr. Brenner. Dr. Ellis. So he's not the only doctor working on this. Ooh, you can draw. Ooh. What do you see? The sun. Very good. He could have opened his eyes and saw a yellow crown sitting there and just guessed. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff's yellow, though. Okay. Now what'd you see? A pile of shit. Cow? <laughs> it's supposed to be a dog. <laughs> it looks like a cow. It looks like a cow. <laughs> and you're, you're a lousy drawer. I want you to find Dr. Ellis. Can you do that? Was that the lady that was walking by? Uh -huh. Okay. Have you found her? Yes. That was pretty quick, actually. No, so right. he, I thought he was going to fry his brain for a second. So he's obviously stronger uh, than Eleven, at least at that time. Probably was working on his uh, skills a lot more at that time mm. than Eleven. Something is wrong. Oh, 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 no. It's very screaming. Peter, I like what's going on out there. Sir, that's the way. 
Whoa, is six going on a rampage? They're both dead. What? Okay, what got through? That's my that's what I'm thinking now. I kinda like the perspective of him though. Oh whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I do like it from his view of things. Like what he's been seeing. How did that not kill you? Okay, ten's gone. No, ten's right there. Oh, ten's probably dead. Was Eleven the only one to survive? Well, she was locked in her room at the they time. They killed all those kids. Yeah, and then exactly that. Eleven was locked away in her room, so she was probably the only one to survive. That's why. Oh, dude, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God, that kid had a broken arm or something. Its arm, her, its arm was mangled and stuff. It's something. It has to be something that saw these kids as a threat to it. Whenever it started killing, it was the reason why I started killing them all. Oh my god! Yeah, they're all mangled. See? It was something that saw these kids as a threat. What have you done? Whoa. Oh, it was eleven. Whoa, whoa, I did not expect that. I thought it was something completely different. I did not expect 11. Booty jams. I had a feeling. This will get my booty shaking. I'm, I'm curious because that was 1979. So that means they've worked with her. They've been working with her. Maybe she was uncontrollable with her powers and they were trying to help her control it. And then maybe she wasn't mentally. Because she sound was a little yet. younger. Yeah, she was a little younger. They didn't uh, re weren't. F her mind wasn't fully refined. But what I want to know what triggered her though. The hellfire. If club. she was stuck in her room the whole time, how did she get out and stuff? Well, she can open doors. So the Hellfire Club sounds like a biker gang. Dear Mike, today is day 185. Aw, looks like a teenage girl's room. Is that her hope chest? This week is going very fast. I think because I am so busy. Is that Hopper? <laughs> Some exciting news. Joyce got an amazing new job. She gets to work at home. I was about to say work from home. She says she loves the freedom. <laughs> And that's why I can't that's do customer service stuff. that customer service shit. I think there is someone he likes because he has been acting. Still with the same haircut, bro. Gosh. Jonathan is acting weird also. I think he is just nervous about college. Dude, do bro. that outside the house. But I don't know Ooh. how he'll ever get to college. <laughs> what happened to the car? Man, neglect on the car? Not smoking in your room properly? Funny friend Argyle has been taking us to school. He and Jonathan Hell like to yeah, smoke brother. smelly plants. Jonathan says the plants are like super safe dead, because they come from the earth. Hey, that sounds like me when I talk. It's great because it comes from the earth. Me? I am twice as happy. He did a project on Alan Turing. I just saw that. Hold on to your butts, bro, chachos. Okay, bro. Slow down! No. Teenagers. Oh, I love the freaking cover of this song. At first, I missed all the spring flowers. Where are they at now? California. They moved all the way to California? I it thought they were like, going to like Chicago or something. Shoot. Looks like California to me. The song sounds like a dead giveaway. It helps that everyone is so nice here. I have made lots of friends. Eh, wave anyway. I think you will love it here like me. My damn bitch, get out the way. I like her style's almost similar as Joyce's. Ever. I know, right? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Rude. You know she can break them glasses just by sitting there, right? Well, Not I don't know. Last moving. time we saw, she was having issues with her powers. Oh, yeah, that's true. What the hell 
are you doing? It's 10 after. Oh. Okay, I have to find my pants. Why are you tighties? Oh, bro. Ah, that's a bitchin' shirt. Call it the high school dropout club. <laughs> Jesus, how am I going to survive a whole week without you guys? I would have just ate them cold. I was just going to say, I was like, you didn't have to really heat those up. Negative, Dusty Bun. Dusty Buns. Oh, he's still talking to her. Try Tiger's 86. Dusty, what's going on in there? You're going to be late. Don't come in, I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's bun. he going to do? Uh, the, oh, he's going to freaking up his grades, isn't he? Really? Latin. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll give him a pass because some language is not gonna work with everybody. Especially Latin. I will repent later. He at least he's good in the rest of the classes. Yeah, A's and B's. It's just the language Heidi. problem. It's Steve. Do I really want to start another relationship that has no point other than sex? Well. I love the fact that they're still hanging out. I know. I'm, I'm what did I say? What did I just something say? Something about sex with, with Linda. Talking about Heidi. Cut me some slack. <laughs> I was about to say, you're going through a lot of women. We both know what this is about, okay? I'm not buying that bullshit. This is about Vicky. Absolutely not. You gotta stop pretending to be someone else. You just gotta be yourself. You're literally quoting me to me. <laughs> mm, you ask out a girl and she says no. Big deal. Nothing happens. But I ask out the wrong girl and bam, I'm a town pariah. Okay. He's got a point though. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Not gonna sugarcoat that, but it's actually true. Not a big deal, okay? I like boobies. You like boobies. I like boobies. Boobies. <laughs> boobies. Boobies are fun. <laughs> hey, John, to the gym, everyone. Oh, it's a pep rally? Yep. Mm. Hey. Where were you yesterday? I'd like to see you today. Come straight after lunch, okay? Same personality. Just a little bit rougher around the edges, it seems. Yeah. She was very glowy in high, or during the summertime. But then after uh, Billy died, yep. it, it uh, changed her. Well, when you witness something like that, it's pretty tough. I, I'm curious to what her, her parents are like during this time. I wonder if it got worse at home or something, you know? Oh... Oh, who's this freaking eye candy right here? Hey. hey! Oh, they're there because of him? Is that why or something? I was oh, wondering no. why Pep rallies are usually forced to go, though, to be honest. Yeah, every high school football pep rally, we had to go. Yeah. I'd be up in the bleachers, like in a bag. Just like, whatever. <laughs> just like, me and my friends just talking. Ours was always held outside. And of course... Of course, Ooh. I have to give a special shout out. Awkward. Having issues. I dig the hair, though. Yeah. Chrissy. Chrissy, I love you, babe. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> Ew. This is a clown. Get him out of here. Take the mic away. Oh, let me touch my lips. Having a tender moment right now. So much loss. In dark days like this, we need something to believe in. Think of Jack. Think of Melissa. Think of Billy. Think about our heroic police chief, Jim Hopper. Think about each and every Rift one of our friends gems. who perished in that fire. Oh, yeah, because more people actually died. Yeah. So it's like a mass, a lot of people that died. Yeah, it was a lot of people. So I don't know about you, but if I was living in a town like that, I would have said, babe, there's too much shit going on. Let's pack, uh -uh. Let's pack up and leave. I want to move to California like exactly. that. Exactly. And now tonight, tonight, we're going to bring on the championship trophy. Not, gonna... Not to be this guy, but this guy couldn't fire up a toaster. Tonight? How is that possible? <laughs> They're like, we have to go to more of these? <laughs> I am curious, though. What? How did Lucas get drawn to sports? I know, right? I wonder what changed in and the I'm character I bet arc. he's thinking the same. Just talk to Eddie. Get him to move Hellfire to another night. Why don't you just talk to your coach and get him to move the game? That's not how it works. Yeah, no, those Sorry. are scheduled in advance. Athletics tops everything else, so unfortunately. Well, those are hard to schedule, too. That's true. If I get in good with these guys, I'll be in the popular crowd. And then you guys... Is that what this is That's about? That's angle, bro. I'm tired of being bullied. We came to high school wanting things to be different, right? 
Is this their first year in high school? Mm-hmm. Oh. Just talk to Eddie. Get him to move Hellfire. Come to my game. Please. Do it for the bros. A lot of things change when you get older and, like, you know, your group of friends aren't, like, the same and it a lot of things changes. You also got to consider That's that. That's sad. A good chunk of their friends also moved away. At least that was important to them. Mrs. Zirkenbride, let me ask Joyce Byers. What's with all those stamps? Have the answer to any question right at your fingertips? Oh, gosh. Oh, she's trying to sell encyclopedias. Oh. That's ooh. why she's got a bunch of encyclopedias. I think she's trying to sell them. Anything. Nothing. But these acceptance letters tend to come end of week. Oh, is this college applications or something? Yep. I know that feeling. One of those, one of the most nagging feelings in the world. Those are Russian stamps. Yep. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ginger cod. Oh, good lord. Sweetie. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. That's it? It's got to be a message, though. I wouldn't have been so bold to just open it like that, especially with Russian stamps on it. I know. I'm surprised that got past the, the customs. Customs, yeah. And that is why I have chosen. Helen Keller as my hero. Yay. Is class over yet? Jane. It's 11. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I chose my dad. And for my visual aid. Shut the fuck up. A diorama of our cabin. More like diarrhea. <laughs> I'm calling it that now. Diorama. Is Mr. Fibley. He is a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so naming our next animal Mr. Fibley. Uh, I was never scared because... Put your damn hand down. I thought this was a presentation about a historical hero. My dad was in the newspaper. Your local paper? <laughs> 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 this is supposed to be about famous people? That's not your job to decide, you bimbo. Help. It wasn't that bad. Help. Come on. Just deep breaths. It's going to be okay. None of that means anything. Mm. After you leave high school. Literally the image of me in high school. Earphones always in, ignoring everybody. I wonder if it's because he switched up and joined the basketball team trying to be the cool kid. That, uh, that she lost interest in him or something. Or it could be about the fact that Billy died and she just distanced herself from everyone. Well, that, that was kind of foreshadowing. A C in English and a C minus in Spanish. Try to just try to get that up to a B at least. Yeah, college is like A's and B's. How's your mom holding up? She's fine. I mean, she hates our new place, which like... Is she still drinking? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let me guess the... What about dickhead dad? I'm thinking he might have left. With your stepdad gone? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of better. Better how? He was a dickhead. He was an asshole. Ah. Are you sleeping better? Yeah, fine. Nightmares. I was about to say, right on my level, nightmares. Nope. Max, okay to not be okay. Yes. I wonder if Lucas knows what's going on at home. Probably not. I'm, st I'm still on that train that she's separated from everyone. I have a feeling that because, because... Her mom being dr drunk all the time and stuff. It's such a personal family thing. You would try to keep that hide. You, you would hide that from everybody on the outside. That's what I'm thinking that's going on. Mm -hmm. She has no one to essentially talk to. Yeah. About all that because she's consulting the bottom of the liquor bottle. Yeah. It's, it's like you're not even here anymore. Yep. I know something's wrong. Yeah. Nobody knows. People just change. I've changed. It's that simple. Not because of good reasons. Yeah. Hey. I feel bad for him. Yeah, you, you put in a valiant effort. 
he's trying to get his friends to go and see him play and nobody's like biting. I know everyone sees it as it's a burden yeah. just to go and see him uh at his game even though he doesn't play, he does sit on the bench. Man, that would have been my friends. I would have been there like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, it's that cheerleader chick. Oh, the one that came out of that room. Mm -hmm. Is I'm, I'm fine. Um, yeah, nobody does vomit at school or work and not be fine. Please just go away. Well, at least you asked nicely. Hope you feel better. Are you deaf? I said go away. Chrissy. Mom, you're ready to try on the dress again. Uh, whoa, 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 So you think she's she was a victim? Probably. Dungeons and Dragons. Interesting. Parents and psychologists concerned. The devil in Dungeons and Dragons? And everybody thought it's something different, the devils and everything. And even murder. Hey, it's the human torch. This seems really revved up tonight. He's always revved up. We'll just act casual. So they're a D&D &D club, basically. Yep. Exactly. We're the freaks because we like to play a fantasy game. As long as you're into band or science or football. Balls! It's a laundry basket! <laughs> you want something, freak? <laughs> <laughs> it's forced conformity. Yep, God forbid you're different. Remember when Harry Potter came out? Mm -hmm. They thought they were trying to push witchcraft and yep. and devil shit upon all the kids. Yeah, that's why there was a that's why uh, a lot of schools like like all the parents were trying to get that book out, out of the schools and stuff like that. At my school, my teacher read it. <laughs> Postpone. Shut up. Rather than find a sub for him, you want to postpone the cult of Vecna. He said it. Mm -hmm. He said it. I'm gonna walk that stage next month. <laughs> I'm gonna flip him the bird. I'm gonna snatch Ooh. that diploma. <laughs> Did you say that last year? And the year before that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no wonder he looks older than the others. <laughs> this year, it's my year. I can feel it. You sound like Cowboys fans. This is my year. The future of Hellfire. I knew it the moment I saw you. You were wearing a Red Owl t-shirt. I thought was brave. Yeah, that is kind of brave. Yep. When we showed you that school Ooh. didn't have to be the worst years of your life. It kind of sucks because I hear what he's coming from. But he's not understanding. Yeah. But because at the same time, you're asking him to postpone. You're upending everybody else's schedule. That's part of the club. Yep. Where the hell have you been? I have karate. Hey. And you believe it's from Russia, huh? I know it is. There's Russian stamps all over the box. And the package have that hammer with the... The sickle. Sickle. Sounds like it came from Russia. Wow, I'm so glad I... Dude, you don't remember last season, bro? Ah! Could be a threat. What was that? A trough? Killed about two dozen comrades. He's gonna take an ice bath. Oh. He dumped his liquor-soaked ice cubes into his ice bath. Wait, can you undress her? What? The creepy doll. Can you remove? Yeah, see if it has any trackers or any bugs and stuff. Okay. There could be like a message or something. Jesus. What? Very true. Ew. She has nipples. Ew. Oh. <laughs> her freaking doll. Yeah. <laughs> that timing was awful. Okay, now, do you see anything taped to her? Oh, it's, it's, it's cracked. Get in there. Yep, there's something in there. Okay, okay, uh, do you have rope? And something heavy. What for? Smashing. Smash the bitch. What do you think, Byers? 
call it a weeder. Uh, Hell yeah. Dude, I want that. <laughs> I want him as a friend. <laughs> Can I buy that off of you? Right. What are you gonna be moping around all break or what? I'm not moping. Yep, you're moping. He reminds me of the guy from Dazed and Confused. Yeah. You know That's probably inspiration. Yep. For that character. She has to work. Who the hell works over spring break, man? Nancy. Apparently Nancy. She's a she's a overachiever. Oh yeah, she's always gonna uh, shoot really, really high every time. That's just the way she is. Is she doing school paper? Um, nice. Do you mind if I take a crack at this, Candace? Emerson College. That's her goal, I guess, right? Either that or she got in. Well, there's no story here, if that's what you're after. His mom works. Oh, no, never mind. She's still in high school. Okay. Yeah. He's waiting on his acceptance letter, and he wants to be there when it comes. It just doesn't make any sense. That doesn't pass the smell test, man. In fact, it stinks to high heaven. Everybody calling out bullshit here. I know, right? They're clocking all the tea. Mm -hmm. I think it's way past do you give that right hand of yours a vacation and get you some well-deserved hanky-panky. Okay, well, first off, <laughs> I'm going to try to forget that you said any of that. It's gross, dude. It's natural. It's natural. I agree. He's not like you. He's caring and... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, you got called out, dog. Protective over the people that he loves. She says you're weak. Nancy! Mm -hmm. Geek. <laughs> yes, that room's always full of people. Nancy, hey, do you want to join Hellfire tonight? <sighs> She's like, oh. this one time, come on! You want to hang out with you and Eddie the freak Munson? You're just jealous because I have another older male friend. <sighs> Could have worded that better. Who knows, maybe she'd be the one. Oh, that's right, he's working at the video store. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. That same one at the end of season three when he was mm -hmm. interviewing. Well, he was right. They were bringing in the girls, right? If I play, do I get one of those cool t-shirts? <laughs> yes. Everyone gets a t-shirt. We make them ourselves. <laughs> She's pulling his leg so hard. You're being sarcastic. <laughs> You're being sarcastic? Yeah, bro. She's riding away. No. 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 Man, not even the chess club guys want to join y'all. Screw what? Screw high school. What? What are you talking about? You need high school. <laughs> Oh, they're going to go to the middle school. Oh. <laughs> oh, when the schools are all next to each other. Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, you're still sus. That's never a good sign. Uh, no. If you ever see someone, just one person walking randomly into the woods by just themselves. Call the cops and go the other way. Something's wrong. That's a weird place for a picnic table. For teenagers hang out. Yeah. There's a middle school there. It looks like there's been some day drinking. Okay. Woodpeckers that have a field day with that thing. I can totally, I'm not going to lie, I can totally see myself. Uh... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I can see myself cosplaying as her. What an easy outfit to uh, put yeah. together. And everyone would recognize it. Mm -hmm. I can get a wig. Yep. There's, uh, there's nothing to worry about, okay? No one ever comes out here. Well, the beer can say otherwise, but... Promise. He eats lunch out here. Oh, he smokes uh, weed out here. So, how does this work exactly? Cash only, and uh, for obvious reasons. Oh, she's here to buy weed for oh. him. That's a good place to meet up and buy it. I hope you're doing this for yourself and not for your boyfriend. Do you ever feel like you're losing your mind? I think we all have those days. Yep. We've had those days before. It happens to everyone. You know, this isn't the first time that we've um hung out. No, I'm sorry. That's okay. Ah! I wouldn't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's such a dork. Yeah. You don't remember me? I'm sorry. Middle school. Talent show. I was with my dad. Corroded coffin. Corroded. Oh my. Corroded coffin? Dude, that sounds cool as hell. <laughs> When's y'all's next show? Open up this fucking pit. You played guitar, right? Uh-huh. Still do. You should come see us. Uh, we play at the hideout on Tuesdays. I'll be there. It's not exactly the garden, but I uh, gotta start somewhere, right? But you play with passion. Yes. Do you like Blackfell Brides and play in grocery store parking lots? 
Flattery works with me. 25% discount, 15 bucks. Do you have anything maybe stronger? I was about to say, yeah, say stronger. Stronger weed. Very disappointing, Jane. Jeez. Let's talk after break. Well, don't air me out in front of the class, bitch. Shit. You could have just wrote that on the paper. Let's talk after class. I thought she said she was great at math. Unless she lied. Probably lied. You know, a safe face here in high school. <laughs> this bitch. God, I would throw that diorama at her. <laughs> 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 Dude, you didn't have to do that. You could have just walked away. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Angela! Here we go. Punch her right in the face. I knew that wasn't gonna work. Holy shit! What the hell was that? <laughs> Damn. Did someone do this? I tripped. All right, Angela. You come with me. Bust her ass. I didn't do anything. Tell her, Jane. All she said was she tripped. Cry to someone else. Is Here. it that difficult to smash a doll? You could have just... A hammer wouldn't done it? A porcelain doll? I don't know, maybe. Come on, kids. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is really necessary. If that porcelain belly is pregnant with an explosive device. Oh. Oh yeah, true. Okay. I was thinking, why not just a hammer? I get that. Yeah. But... More thing. <laughs> Joyce, are you there? Talk to me, Joyce. <laughs> Down here. Yeah. What happened? It broke. <laughs> or anything that, that that doesn't look like the insides of a doll. Anything like that phone's got some pretty good audio. Joyce. A message. I like the newspaper cutouts. I know, right? Big old ransom note. Hop is whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah! I hope it's true. I hope this isn't Sorry, just the camera's isn't some moving bullshit. Right I hope that letter's not just some BS. Let's go, Tigers! Now, is she on the harder weed or did she do like harder drugs? Like acid or something? No, acid is she'll be tripping like hallucination and stuff. That right would now. make what she's got going on even worse. Yeah. We might win a championship. Like, oh wait, is this the girl that he's into? Thank you so much for bringing that up, Brenda. I'm Brenda. Probably, probably I thought one it was another them. girl. I don't know. I heard Heidi. There's a lot going on there. Please rise for our national anthem, all the way from Nashville. Yeehaw! Tammy Thompson. I wait, don't know who you are. This is Tammy Thompson. This is the one that uh. That uh, she liked, yeah. Oh. Remember she was talking about Tammy Thompson and stuff? She wants to be a singer? Yeah, this is her, her old crush. Oh. Oh, say can you see That feedback got off. Steve's right. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> okay, she does sound like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a mother. <laughs> I used to think that she sounded good because I had this massive crush. I'm sorry. Um, we, we took a, um, a massively hard class together. We were, we were um, in Mrs. Click's class together. Ooh, close there, close. Wow. She sounds amazing, doesn't she? Yeah. You can step away from the mic. <laughs> I saved it. Give me the Jimi Hendrix version. Yeah! yeah! Newest member of the Hellfire Club. Look at her walking Hell in with her. Hell yeah. yeah. That's a fucking aura right there. I love her so much. See, nothing wrong with flying that geek flag. Absolutely not. Why? This is Hellfire Club, not Babysitting Club. I'm a 11, you long-haired freak. <laughs> so, 
What's your name? Erica Sinclair. What's your class and level? My name is Lady Applejack, and I'm a chaotic, good, half-elf rogue level 14. And I will sneak behind any monster you throw my way and stab them in the back with my poison-soaked kukri. And I'll smile as I watch them die, a slow, agonizing death. So, we gonna do this? Or we gonna keep chit-chatting like this is your mommy's book club? Ah. Uh... Why do you have to like her? Welcome to Hellfire. Yeah. <laughs> And she gets a t-shirt. He's got mad respect. I, I like him. Mm -hmm. He knows when to show it. <laughs> Boy, calm down. Hey! No, you gotta stay on it! Stay on it! Let's go! Go! And what are you doing? Just know, standing around exactly. barking orders? No. Vecna's dead! He's killed by cats! So it was thought, my friends. But Vecna lives! Yeah. That's not a good... Whoa, boy, I would've... I would've undercut you. You are scared. You're tired. You are injured. Do you sleep? I like these parallels here. I know, right? Do you stand your ground and fight? Brilliant. Come on. Sinclair, you're in. Oh, here we go. I say we fight to the death. To the death. To the death. Yeah. I like his chair. I need one of those. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. All right. Guys, I hate to say this, but we've got to flee. Didn't we just agree to the death? That wasn't literal. I don't know. Y'all are fired up about it. It seemed pretty literal to me. Hey! If I may interject, there is no shame in running. Ah, right, but you'd love it, though. How many hit points do you and Applejack have left? Twelve. Twelve. Right here, inbound. Try 12 and he has 15 left? Mm. You gotta let me take the shot. It's risky as You Is gotta the... let me take the shot. I need the winning shot. They're gonna be expecting you to take the shot. You're the guy. I, I, you can't take my moment away from me. Bro, they're gonna be expecting you in that moment. That's why you dish it to Sinclair off the bench. Let me find a way. Chances of success are... Oh, you're gonna lose because of that and your arrogance. And he'll probably blame someone else. Yep. Mountain Dew. I knew it. You choked. That's amazing. That's a. Uh, that might be foreshadowing there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do. Is if he, he, if he makes the winning shot, oh, I'm gonna oh, laugh oh, oh. my ass off. Dude, you got to rebound. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Sinclair is coming up for the win. Dude, you got goosebumps. Yeah, Sinclair's. <laughs> yeah, man, coming in clutch. Off the bench. Now, Kendall's not going to like that. And now Lucas is going to be mad at his friends because they weren't there to see him take the winning shot. Pretty much. Oh, wow, Kendall's picking him up. Yeah. For now. For now. That's gotta hurt. After a tragic year for our town, the Tigers have brought home the conference title for the first time in 22 years. And you hit the game winner, my dude. The thing is, Lucas wanted to do that because he wanted to be in with the in crowd. He wanted to be the pop with the popular guys. I think the the Ken doll guy is probably gonna have him be one of his guys now. He's like, you're part of my crew now. Most likely, considering he came, came off the bench and hit that winner like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is your old friend, Billy, talking here. You, know you hear that? <laughs> I wonder if that was just coincidence or that was meant to be put in there. What, Billy? Yeah, saying that on the TV show. Mm. Good boy. Are you feeding someone else's dog? Either that or it is their dog. Just by a separate fence. This is uh, my castle.
Dang. Well, I know they ain't there for sex. Maybe he's got the good stuff at his place. That's what I was thinking. Sorry for the mess. Uh, May took the week off. The May took the week off. In other words, he took the week off. Yeah, well, it'd be that way sometimes. Oh, uh, shit. You sure you have it? Uh, somewhere. <laughs> I forgot where I hid it. Sorry I'm late, sweetheart. Well, oh. <laughs> that is sick, though. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, here we go again. Remember the clock? And, uh, in the previous seasons? Mm-hmm. There it is again. Eddie? Eddie? Well, that ain't good. Eddie? Mom? You're going to look absolutely beautiful. Oh, gosh. Oh, my good Lord. Who are you? Okay, so she's no longer present. Chrissy! Chrissy! Open the door! Nope. Mm. Dang, all of a sudden she's in her, what, in her childhood house? Dad! Dad! Oh! Found it. Chrissy? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Chrissy? Hello? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. Chrissy, hello. Hey, Chrissy. Bro, run, 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 run. Chrissy. What the? Who is that? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Okay, hello. So I wonder if the piece of the mind flare is still inside of her. That's what I'm thinking. Like it attached to her. Wake up! Put some of that special K inside her. Maybe it'll help her snap out. That's what I was thinking. Just crush it up and stick it in there. Stick it in her mouth or something. Oh, it's Vecna! It's Vecna! I was... Yes! It's Vecna! Chrissy! 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 I'm so amped up, but this is not good. Get away from her. Oh no. Chrissy. Dude, get her out! Oh ho! Oh. She's being picked up. Oh, whoa! What? Okay. That that was just that was just the first episode. Okay. Oh oh my gosh. Okay, so first thing first things first, dude. You need to get her body out of your house. Uh unfortunately. Yeah, they're you're not that strong to do that, but they're the police the police they're not gonna care. Unfortunately, right. there was a witness that saw her go into your house. Yep. I don't know what's gonna happen there, but Second oh of all, oh my gosh! Second of all, I think that's your next cosplay. And it, oh, it has that to be. be sick. That that was insane. Oh my gosh, I am so fired up that I'm getting what I I'm getting what I wanted, but at the same time, from what I was researching about Vecna, this is awful. Like, this ain't gonna be shit on the Mind Flayer. Clearly, he just split her clean. Broken legs, broken arms, like nothing. But we saw that in the beginning of the episode when L had that little yeah. rampage and you remember saw all those gonna, kids that yeah. were all like... I was just, just going to say that. The yeah. broken arms, the broken legs. And remember the blood mm -hmm. around her eyes? Just like her. Um, just like Chrissy. Yeah. So it wasn't even her. I wonder if based off how powerful L is, Vecna temporarily like took control of her and... And killed all those kids. Why keep her alive though? Why not after it was all said and done, kill her? He kept her. He kept her alive for a reason. I don't know. Maybe he wants the challenge, or maybe he sees her as a way to take over. 
Mm-hmm. Who knows? But that was some Freddy Krueger shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it even sounded like Freddy Krueger. Like, that was crazy. And just, that was just the first freaking episode. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was amazing. That was a great Prop, episode. Props, Duffer Brothers, man. That hit. That hit hard. Very, very fast. Very, very aggressively. Just to start out this season. The, the reactions freaking accented everything yeah. for us. I, I got nothing to say. That that blew our freaking mind. That was a great first episode of the season. Wow. What a way to start. Mm-hmm. This this season is going to be a hell of a ride. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Like I said, y'all, that's all we got. The, the reaction and our commentary, they're all pretty much accented everything. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get right into the second episode. So if you like what you saw today, go and drop a like. Leave a comment what you thought uh, about the episode. And subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.